I'm a mother tonight. I mean, I'm a mother every. Come here, Nikki. Don't hit your head. She's a lampchi. Everyone say hello to my cute little kitten named Lampchi. We just got her from the electricity store. She's fine. <laughs> she just has a bit of eczema, just like her mother, um, on her ear, and she started scratching it. So before it gets any worse, we just put the cone on so she doesn't like really go in, you know what I mean? That's it. <laughs> That's really it. And now she can get 5G signal. But ever since we put the cone on, she's very lovey. She's kind of the opposite of what you'd expect. She like you think she would hate me. Maybe she does, but this is just how she shows it. But she's just purring and you know, she'll sit in a bed and stare at you like, I'm sad. <laughs> but she won't just sit in her bed. She'll like stare at me and, you know, try and climb on the back of the chair here. Yeah. So you, I know it's too low for this camera to see, but she's resting her cone on my desk. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> do you see her? Yeah, she's purring. Like She's like happy. It's weird. I mean, just because cats are purring doesn't mean they're happy, but I'm scratching her neck, which she probably likes. She probably really likes this. That's why she doesn't want to. Lampchi. Lampchi. She says, why you cone me? I know. It's okay, sweetie. Oh, okay. The lamp wants to travel. Here you go. Go see daddy. Don't run into anything. Man, she's coming for you. Careful on your way there, sweetie. She like hits a wall. Menchi, oh my poor baby. It's so sad. Like it's really just a small thing on her ear. It's not even that bad, but we've seen it get bad, like really bad. So we're just very sensitive to making sure that doesn't happen again. She just has eczema, you know, skin problems like me, runs in the family. It sucks, it's hereditary. Anyways, welcome on in everyone. Do you have your tea? I do. I have tea and water. I'm still feeling sick. I don't know if Ben told you. Actually, yes, he did. I remember him telling you. Well, he told the chickpeas about my poisoning, so I might as well tell you. It's only fair. I was poisoned! <laughs> so dramatic. Um, I didn't go to a doctor, so I don't know this, but I I believe that I had food poisoning <laughs> on the weekend <laughs> and only I got it, not Ben. We didn't eat the same thing, so that could make sense, which is also what leads me to maybe conclude that it was food poisoning and not a stomach bug or virus, which you would assume um, if that was like contagious that Ben would have gotten. So I think it was food related. That's my suspicion. Did you get Wingstop? No, but that's like a meme, right? I don't, do they have those in Canada? I've like never seen one. I don't even know what they look like. <laughs> is that an American thing? <laughs> All I want is Wingstop or whatever. Not me, I don't know what that is. Just a little Canadian girly here. Ben, what did you do? Right, it could have been Ben, it could have been my tea, it could have been a few things, but all I know is that on Saturday night, I was like sweating, but also cold, and like thought I was gonna die. And then I get up, and well, I was up every hour, and I get up at like seven, and I'm like, Ben, 
And he goes, what's wrong? <laughs> like, you're thrashing, you're not sleeping, which whatever happens sometimes anyways. And I'm like, I think I was poisoned. <laughs> I, I, I said that. And then I stood up and ran to the bathroom and threw up in the sink because it was the first thing in front of me. Like the toilet was like the other way and I was in the dark. I didn't turn on, turn on the lights. <laughs> but it was like all liquid that I threw up. So don't worry all the plumbers in the chat who are like, don't do that. It's okay, it was just liquid. And then he came over and he was like, okay, <laughs> to turn on the lights and was like, go, go to the toilet. So I, I, yeah, then I migrated to the toilet and continued to violently cry, scream, throw up, however the meme. Yeah, it was, I was Xyler, basically, but I don't think it was eating, it was from, it wasn't from eating too fast. What an odd time to join. Welcome on in. We're just throwing up in the chat. Assassination attempt failed. Yeah, I was just too strong. I just threw it up seven hours later. So that was on... Saturday. Now it's Wednesday. Welcome on in. We're gaming tonight. I still don't feel 100%. I haven't eaten my regular food since then. I've only been having like soup and boring veggies and lots of water and whatever people would tell you to have and tea, obviously. Never cutting that out, but. Do plumbers say not to throw up? Yeah, they say, actually, don't put anything in the pipes. It's a lot easier for their job. <laughs> Less work. Nobody wants to plumb anymore, you know? What about Xyler stickers? <laughs> someone. Thank you, someone. Uh, no, plumbers don't want you to throw up in the sink, right? Because the plumbing is not equipped for food. <laughs> Unless you have, like, a garburator or whatever which I don't have in my bathroom sink. I don't even have that in my main sink, but I did have that growing up. They want you to throw up in the toilet because that's where that texture is supposed to go. <laughs> Ew, uh, simply I just got here. What are you doing? Uh, is this gaming? Life is a game. Life is a game. There was a poisoning attempt, but I won. GG's everyone. I'm still recovering. I'm still getting my health packs back. It's gonna be a slow climb. But we're gonna make it back to the top of Polish Mountain. This is why Simply says don't eat the nail polish. Why well, I, I didn't eat nail polish. I, I swear. <laughs> I swear it was not nail polish that I ate that caused this issue. I was poisoned. Okay? I know it. I was poisoned, Menchie's got ear issue, ear, uh, 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 hello, skin issues on her ears. I've got eye issues on my eyes. Like, it's just, you know, it's that time of year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy 13th day of the 12th days of Christmas, uh, which was a loyalty day. So, Hollow Swatchers and Hollow Royalty got an email today to vote on a shade name. <laughs> I'm still wearing from the from the iPhone picture I took. Which one did you pick? I know which one you picked because I took a quick peek at the early data, but the survey will stay open for a few days. <laughs> you actually picked not what I thought you would pick. So I'll just say that. Tea. Who's got their tea? Do you? I just bought stickers and a second sweatshirt to complete the cat pair. Love you simply. Hope the tea helps. Thank you. I hope the tea helps. I apologize if I'm, <clears throat> I don't even, like, I'm not this kind of sick, you know? I don't understand. How do bodies work? <laughs> Hello? Is there a biology teacher? Welcome to the mods, welcome to the Menchie Gang members. Before, I'll, I'll read some of your member chats. I know I was ignoring them with my throwing up speech. But uh, let me just give a quick, a couple stream updates and then I'll do it again at the end. This Saturday, there's no stream. I have family slash friends related things going on. So no stream this Saturday, but we'll be back next Wednesday for gaming. Depending on if we finish, 
Then it'll be a new game next Wednesday, which I don't know yet. <laughs> from, from the list, my running list. Or if we don't finish tonight, then we'll be continuing Beyond Two Souls. So the next time I will stream is next Wednesday. And then it is mostly regular, but it's gonna be like a low key following Saturday stream because that's the 23rd. So I think I'll just do like low key Christmas mail. Maybe maybe I'll find mail that looks like Christmas because we haven't done a mail logical in like a month. So it's about time. Christmas, yeah, that'd be funny. What if I only read uh, holiday cards <laughs> or things that look like it's Christmas packaging? We could do that. And then regular streaming on, I'll be streaming on the 27th, which is a Wednesday. And then the 30th will be back to, well, normal, but like a stream on the Saturday. And then the Menchie Gang members only stream will be Sunday, December 31st, the last day of December. I have Christmas stuff on Saturday too. Yeah, the, yeah, it is that season of, you know, like uh, annoying, annoying things, shopping. I tried to order my grandma something on the internet and then it, it just never came. And then I, you know, talked to customer service and I was like, oh, I don't see it. And then they gave me the tracking. And then the tracking said that it was returned to sender. And I was like, oh, it looks like it was returned to you. Do you mind uh, resending it? Cause I don't like, it says the address is incorrect, but I checked the address and I'm like, it's totally correct. They were, I don't know, there was one attempt. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and then, so they're like, okay, we'll resend it. And then a week later, I'm like checking my email. I'm like, where is the reshipment email? So I contact customer service again and I'm like, hi, I just want to make sure the reshipment was sent. <laughs> and you know, always very nice, re-explaining the issue all over again, even though I cited the reference ticket number that the first person gave me. And uh, they were like, oh, it appears it was not sent. And I was like, I have the ticket number that says they issued it. So you're telling me they just, they just, they didn't do it. And they went to the hassle of making me like a ticket number. They're like, here's a reference that your thing was resent. And they're like, no, it wasn't resent, but we'll give you a one-time courtesy of like sending out your, the package. I was like, what do you, what do you mean <laughs> courtesy? Like it clearly went back to you <laughs> for unknown reasons. Anyways, so I, I still don't know cause I still haven't gotten an email from the second person that it was in fact resent. So I don't know if I'm going to get the present for my grandma that I planned well in advance <laughs> to get. Yeah, it's, it's always frustrating. I will not say the company, but um, it's okay, you're not interested in them. <laughs> it's not something you care about. <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna say like they lied, but they just, she didn't do it. <laughs> she, she, didn't, she didn't do the reshipment issuance that I took a screenshot and like saved it with the reference number, which you should always do if it's not, this was like on a live chat thing, cause it wasn't an email chain. But I was just like, okay, just to confirm, just in case something goes wrong. And then it did go wrong, <laughs> you know? I don't know why the driver said they couldn't find the delivery location. Literally no one has an issue, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes courier drivers just don't want to deliver something and then they don't try a second time, <laughs> which is also weird. <laughs> Usually they should try like two, two or three times, right? Anyways, I will let you know if I grant my, get my grandma's present in time. In other news, <laughs> I got stickers. <laughs> you know, your packages are late, just put a sticker on them when uh, they finally get there. So now I have to decorate this. What do you think? I was thinking of putting some of these, like the smaller bits, which I think are kind of fun, in between the cats. But I also have like 18 different tumblers, so I could just decorate a full new tumbler. But I hadn't decided yet. But I'm very excited about these. I know many of you are. <laughs> Stickers, you know, when, when life is annoying, just put sparkly shit on things. That's what we all do, isn't it, with our nails? Hell yeah, stickers. Just give my grandma some stickers. Brilliant, Tasha. You know what, I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry I couldn't get that really specific gift that I know you would really love. Um, 
But <laughs> would you like some stickers, Grandma? <laughs> Just decorate like the television set or something. The national television set. What did Ben say about the taco on his phone? It's still on his phone. It's, it's still on like the back of his phone. Yeah, so you probably noticed like I've had some form of these stickers on the back of my phone for like six months. <laughs> Oops. But, um, and this guy too, the laptop sticker. I mean, it's not called a laptop sticker, but it's basically a laptop sticker that fits on like a smaller MacBook. It covers the Apple. That's what it was designed for. <laughs> Specifically for my MacBook and everyone else who has a MacBook. Um, I don't even know if other computer makers have such a circular middle logo in the same way, but everyone always thinks of it as like, cover the Apple logo, you know? So you can do that with this size as long as it's, a, as long as it's not a giant Mac Studio because those apples are like this big. I didn't even realize that until I looked at the back of my like main computer and I was like, since when were the apples like this big? I, for some reason, I just like never looked. I don't know. <laughs> They're so big. Why are they so big on the studios? It's so stupid. There's no sticker that will cover that right so this covers like the laptop and like the normal size computer apples also your phone but i personally think it's a little big like i mean it fits but i think it's a little big so you could cover the apple on the back of a standard iphone with this one this works too but i just felt like putting hollow it's me but this one does cover the apple on an iphone Sorry, Android users, I, I don't I don't understand your devices. Your devices don't work with poles either, I've concluded. It is the big apple, exactly. So if you have any other questions on what else you could put your sticker on, just let me know and I would gladly you know, answer you if I can in terms of size and scale. But I hope that that short slash reel slash TikTok was informative. Okay, you can put it on your potato, on your tomato, on your monkey, on your Ben's phone. Didn't you have the hollow Android at one point? I still have it, but I don't think it turns on. But yeah, I bought that for a video. <laughs> when I answered people's phone calls, remember that? On your presents. Yeah, you could put this on presents. I just finished the mention gang letters and I put stickers. Well, I gave them stickers, but I also like put a sticker on the letter. And now it's kind of fun to just have classic, like imagine just like randomly putting a taco on like your family's things and they don't know what it is, but you're just like taco. <laughs> we know what it is. What tumbler is this? This is a David's tea tumbler. Um. I don't know if the stickers come off. I kind of don't want to take them off. You know, like once you apply a sticker, you, you should just commit, you know? So it's fine if you put it on a tumbler, but maybe don't put it on your drywall, <laughs> your wall. <laughs> Unless you intend to repaint, like uh, I did when I, in undergrad, <clears throat> we used to have to put down a security deposit regardless and it was, was always required that we would agree to either paint or pay to repaint the rooms upon moving out. So like either way we would have to paint or pay to paint. So since we knew that going in, we just decided to like put shit all over the walls. <laughs> Which I realized was probably not smart on the part of the landlord, you know, to like say that you guys will paint or repaint or pay for it before. Cause then it's like a license to like not care about the paint. So what are you saying? We could stick a bunch of tape on the wall. We could Sharpie the wall. We could color all over, <laughs> right? <laughs> 
And we did in like one room. We used it as like the coloring room. You know, art or whatever. Um, but yeah, so if you are in a lease contract where you have to pay to paint or repaint, yeah, then maybe stickers on your mom, whatever. <laughs> that paint be thick. I think we had to prime the wall that we ended up coloring on like three times to get out the marker. So it's really not as simple as you think. Just like, oh yeah, just paint it once. No, it needed to be <laughs> primed like three times to get out the markers. Oops. I did not put nail polish on the wall. That's not the same thing as coloring. I would love an art room. I guess it kind of was an art room, but it was just scribbling on the wall, you know, just drawing. I did that in my basement too when I was a kid. When um, we had an unfinished basement and a wall was gonna be knocked out anyways. So we just used it to like draw on. I remember me and my sister just drawing on the walls <laughs> in the basement. I don't know, cause it was gonna be, you know, destroyed regardless, I guess the following year. Just add a hollow taco to the wall and all will be fine and good in the world, exactly. Okay, what are we doing tonight? We are part four, three, I was like three, four. Part four of uh, press X to delete your soul. And of course we have Connie coming in clutch again. What's up gamers submitting their homework, it's Connie. Let me pull up the recap from last time. Oh man, she's not in her bed. Lampchi, come back, I miss you. Ben, is she okay? He's not answering me. I hope everyone's doing well. I'll, I'm just gonna leave the bed because it looks cool, you know? <laughs> it's just, it's there for the vibes. It's there for the cozy vibes. So, <clears throat> no spoilers. Uh, I don't know if this will be the last episode. It depends how much we get through. Let's see if we can do it, but I also can't stream for four hours tonight. So thank you, Connie, for putting this together as always. Wonderful, we'd love when our students do their homework. <laughs> Simply Beyond Help, Simply Game Logical Beyond Two Souls, Part Three Recap, Chapter 15, Hunt It. Jody and Aiden are CIA runaways and wanted for treason, doing everything to outrun the manhunt. Jumping out of trains, fighting men and puppies. Oh no, the puppy scene, that was so bad. <laughs> I had nightmares about that scene, oh my God. Okay, running through the forest, rock climbing, stealing a motorbike, driving through a roadblock, destroying a local town. We didn't take down the helicopter and <laughs> we got captured, oops. But don't worry, the game was still helping me out because I still escaped the SWAT vehicle by blowing out the tires. <laughs> Jody then threatened to kill everyone if they attempt to hunt again. Yeah, we were like, do not fuck with me because I will murder you. Chapter 16, homeless. <laughs> Jody and Aiden are our homeless. Stan, this guy, saved us from freezing to death. We became friends with Stan and everyone else who was in the homeless chapter. There was Walter, noted as an alcoholic, Jimmy, the druggie, and Tuesday, who was pregnante. Uh, waiting to give birth on on a Tuesday actually that's the rule I heard we begged on the streets and found money at the ATM uh, and we we stole it right yeah we did we saved Stan by f fighting off live streamers <laughs> these p fucking live streamers man just doing everything for content we had to take them down we should poison them we delivered a baby did you hear me? We delivered a baby last week <laughs> and I was not expecting it. And I think Ben, he, he, he mustn't have watched it or that part of the stream. And after the stream, I was like, did you know that there was like a full out baby delivery in this game? And he was like, what? It's like, yeah, 
There's, there's, a, there's a whole ass baby delivery, a 40 pound delivery. Uh huh. We saved everyone from a burning building. Live streamers bonked us and we died. Jo just kidding. Uh, we got a skull fracture and a concussion and said we never die. GG's, everybody. We saw visions of us being taken from our biological mother after birth. Right. So, yes, we did see some history. I wonder if that's going to unpack more this stream of like who is our mother and why are we like this? We woke up bald in the hospital and there was like a scar on our head and we were in a coma for several months and then we escaped because <laughs> that's just of course you know brilliant immediately we escape chapter 17 jody and Iden in the cozy chapter you're calling this the cozy chapter oh my god i could not find the forked tree <laughs> we found shelter at a ranch we met the ranch residents there was paul jay who was not jacob from twilight but reminded me of him Corey and the granny who didn't speak until she spoke to us for the first time after 30 years there was a spooky storm that happened every night paul offered us a job on the ranch and we were like sure okay and we began our horse girl era we trained the horses we pet the horses we rode the horses and we also enjoyed riding them so much that we literally didn't remember what the task at hand was yeah find a fork tree in the road no nope. i would just like to ride my horse <laughs> Yeah, we, we got lost a few times, but it's fine. We uncovered the truth behind the storm and Granny broke her 30 years of silence and confirmed we can now reverse her ancestors' mistake. And we performed a ritual and saved the ranch by putting like five pieces of jewelry, essentially, in a line and then having five souls line up with it to like send the demons back <laughs> that's an that's a simplification <laughs> you know and then the fifth soul was Aiden that we were able to use because uh paul m may or may not have died but i think he ultimately was fine right that was kind of confusing to be honest oh the can i take the giveaway oh my god sorry <laughs> there's there's no giveaway is it on this one no okay <laughs> sorry there's no more giveaway that's from <laughs> that's from saturday <laughs> my bad the only thing i'm giving away is uh high scores because i'm not gonna get any in this game there are no giveaways no sorry <laughs> False advertising. Yeah, I call that uh, false advertising. Go ahead, sue me. We hugged everyone goodbye, including Jay. And the game again was like, do you want to kiss this person just because he is, I don't know, around your age? Like, I feel like that's the requirements for this game is you have an option to kiss almost everyone who's kind of near your age. <laughs> Right? Am I wrong? <laughs> like, that's what it seems like. <laughs> okay, that's the requirements for that option to open. But uh, we said, nope, let's, uh, nope, let's go. <laughs> we're busy here. We were gifted a repaired motorbike and then we rode off in the distance because uh, we, girls gotta go. Game progress. We played 17 out of 25 chapters, only eight more to go. Fuck, I don't know if we're gonna finish eight, damn. All right, okay, let me switch over. Thank you so much, Connie. As always, homework, A plus. A plus on the homework, I see.
Yeah, is the next chapter a cozy one? <coughs> Probably not. It kind of looks cozy. It's a trap. Jody. My little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. No sad. I'm lost. <laughs> like the first time I saw that's you. What, that's what my family says to me when I go home for Christmas. <laughs> you can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Ida? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Ah. Uh, How's Nathan? Sorry, oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> He's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. Great, what do I have to do? You're working with the army? Oh, Nathan had no choice, really. It's funding. On the condition of exploring possible military Is that me? <laughs> Go figure. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. Why did it declare us to stillborn as soon I've got to go see her. Unless they did Jody, that on purpose. I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. Is that how that works? She's in a high security Maybe DPA I'm... facility, <laughs> and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Watch me. Nothing's gonna stop you from seeing her. I'm quiet? Okay, here. Sorry. I had the mic. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. This is some nice fall leaves. Yeah, maybe our biological hey. mother has special powers, too. That's why they think she's crazy. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? What? <laughs> Carpool. Okay, we are besties. Look, that's some um, heavy rain. 3 a.m. 10 millimeters like it, of rain. No guard on gate, empty parking lot, something doesn't feel right. We're not back in three minutes. Just Sorry, the bot is broken. Thank you, Carol. I ain't gonna wait no car. <laughs> Cole, Cole, wait. So we're, we're breaking into a hospital? Is that what we're doing?
Wait, no. I don't want to go in. I don't want them to see me. I need a plan. I... Security cameras? They won't let me cut them. Can I do anything? <gasps> Can I have a fountain soda? Mmm. Some orange crush? Elevator, maybe? Okay, I don't see anything I can do immediately, so maybe not yet. Try the polite approach. Gets them every time. Okay, that's a hint to be polite, said the game. Okay, I'll try. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Maybe we can go without authorization this time. Oh, that maybe was maybe stupid. That's not what I meant by a page. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Are we? Okay, we'll just possess you. I said... Founder, Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. Interesting elevator. I've never seen an elevator like that. All right, thank you, bye. I feel like we should have done something to the security cameras, but. So far, so good. Uh, that's, it's too late. First, oh. have a look around. Security, yes, hello. How can I do this? Nice, Aiden. Now unlock the door. Must be something. Oh, there's someone. Oh, he's too far away. He's too far away, but there's a table.
where are we? Here. No. Here. Thank you, Dave. <coughs> what? That was weird. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna use a key card. Sorry, Dave. Nothing personal. What kind of name is Dave? Are all Daves Davids? And then just Dave is short form? Uh, Jesus. That's my name. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Found it, Jody. Good job. Like if I go like this, and now I put this one back. Oh, it doesn't even let me put it back. Okay, never mind. Jody, I'm here. Stupid. Never mind. It's like, right? I thought it was like you have to switch them one way, and then you have to switch them back with the pass. That would actually make sense because now it'll just see me from the other way. But okay, whatever. I wait Don't here. overthink. Just break in and go. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Oh, it's breaking them, not turning them. We are. <laughs> it's been 23. Yeah, how is this cozy? Yeah. There was one more camera. Oh, guess we're gonna die. Hello, mother. Mom, it's me. Judy. It says good on her reader. Wearing a heart locket. I'm your daughter. Stranger Things really ripped this game off, right? <laughs> Help me, Aiden. Did this game rip off like a book? And when I say rip off, I'm using that. You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. My baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want her to hit me! Sedate her quickly! Please! Get the baby I out of here! Please! 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 Please!
Yes, she may develop some the, uh... special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Baby, us. <laughs> Sorry. Why? What was the point? Why not just keep the <laughs> special sorry. baby in your lab from the beginning? It was my fault. If you're following their logic, like I don't even understand. I guess they wanted to trick the child into thinking she was growing up normally. What I did. What are you trying to show me? Destroy this thing, Raiden! Destroy it now! see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. So is she an entity? What happened? Her mind? What did they do to you? She, is her the mind locked in me? Trap me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Mom! So you've been stuck ah! in Black Squid for 27 years and all I had to do was press three buttons? So was that, that was real in our entity mind, correct? I think. So they trapped her mind by drugging her, but she, we are still able to communicate with her because we can do that type of mind conversation, I think. But her, her body will always be incapable of participating in this current plane of existence because of the drugs unless we take off the drugs i don't see any options unless i didn't can do something anything else or just the mother This is why I am somewhat confused at this game. Is that to kill her? What? <laughs> like, wait, what? I'm sorry? Please be clear with your instructions. What am I pressing? That's to kill her? Why? We just, like, we've already arrived at that conclusion that she needs death? Like, what? Something else. Anything in the bathroom? <gasps> a toilet? A mirror? This game is so weird. You pick up a knife and it's like, hey, do you want to cut your head off? <laughs> no. No, sir. <laughs> Can I really not go out here? <laughs> That's not the only option. That's so anticlimactic. That's probably like the easy way, right? Okay, girl, stop crying. We gotta figure out what to do. Why can't I move this way? I actually... What was that? 
Did I just imagine a white butt? There it is. <laughs> I'm s I'm so confused. <laughs> is it just me or or does is it other people's interpretations <laughs> the same? Like, wait, <laughs> what? You're telling me there's like literally nothing else? We just kill her? <laughs> the game wants you to set her free. You mean murder? We can't. Why is there no option to like escape her? The only option is to leave her or kill her. Wow. That was like not really that clear, right? <laughs> like, what? She said she's in hell. Yeah, that's why I thought we could do something about it. Like, what the fuck is this? This is like pretty easily giving up. I don't know. There's been so many fights in this game that just go on and on and on. And this is like, oh, option to kill her. Should I stay and kill her or leave? That's it. Like, it's just so quick. Like, what? <laughs> like, we- I just met her! Relax! I don't have any- Okay, this is kind of silly. Do something like take her IV out. I don't think it's gonna let me do anything else. But, like, here, I will try one more time to make sure. Because I think hastily just being like, Oh, okay, let's just kill her. Without exploring your options is insane. But I don't- I don't think there's an option to remove her IV. The only option is this, which is red. Uh, but it's like not that red when you first look at it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think, I think the game probably doesn't have any other options for her. But, just in case they do, because no spoilers, I don't want to kill her. I'm oh! I'm sorry, Jody. <clears throat> also, if I killed her, they'd probably, like, you know, put me on trial for murder. <laughs> along with the other 50 people we murdered. Just another murder charge added to my life sentence. Oh! <laughs> Hi guys! How's it going? It's been a while. <laughs> Was just debating whether or not to kill my mother. I don't know. <laughs> Did he betray us? I mean, I'm not that surprised. You can't trust anyone. You can't trust Ryan. You can't trust Cole. You can't trust your fake lab daddies. Okay, these chairs are sick though. Where, what is this place? Is this the CIA? Oh my God. For daddy. Cool, nice monitor, nice gaming monitor, right? I feel like I, I've seen people who have really wide monitors and I always wonder, should I get one? Cause I just have two monitors, like normal behavior. I kind of want like a gaming monitor. I was thinking about it. I really like these asymmetrical desks and furniture. <laughs> Sorry. Like, I really like this, the the look, the vibes in here. Look at these couches, they're so angular. Look at the bookshelves. It's like Ben's, but not all crooked, just some of it. <gasps> Who the fuck is, oh, I thought that was a person. Oh my God. Who's in these pictures? That looks like a stock image of like, your dentist's promotion or something, you know? Can you read? Um, probably not allowed. Don't wanna lose a finger. Needed to play video games. 
Okay, I did. What can you do? Condenser heat status. Okay, so he was talking about the condenser before. Infrared. Is that the portal or my brain? 94% power. Is that the earth or my skull? User NDA. Oh, they signed an NDA. D.A. Hawkins. Is this the CIA? Bruh, you know how long I fought to get away from you? Maybe if I kill the squid, then I can save my mother. Most powerful condenser ever created. Lab Daddy. Lab Daddy, you look different in blue. It's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Thanks. That's what I'm going to say. When my family says, You look tired, I'll say, At least I'm alive. <laughs> Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. Thanks. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. Did he just say since we accepted? But I convinced I might them have to it. wait for a while. We, you I, if I recall, we did. We never accepted a position. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Escaped. Sorry. Okay. Nora. I was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, Lord. I mean, we literally don't know her. I was a but, researcher okay. at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Fake parents. <laughs> Why all the lies, Nathan? Who are my fake parents? There's people pretending to be my parents. The DPA <laughs> thought you needed a stable emotional environment. Yeah. A home, loving parents, some they semblance of a normal, normal life. Whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? What was I to you, Nathan? A little lab rat? Why, yes. I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. Why were you dreaming of a little girl who was the link to the infra world? It's weird. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? I was always. They the brought plan. you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no uh, idea what they're dealing what Ryan with. Told us last time if entities enter yourself. our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? The end of humanity. What has all this got to do with me? Good. <laughs> because you know the infraworld better than anyone. 
It's the CIA's job. Yeah, do your job, okay? And I'm done with that. Good girl, yeah. I agree. Tell them to do their job. They want to offer you a deal. Uh-huh. You mean they want, they want to kidnap me? You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Uh, that's under duress, actually. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. Yes, duress. You have the power to stop this. Otherwise, the guilt will be on your shoulders. You will be responsible for the CIA not being able to do their job. I am the Green Goblin. <laughs> okay, Nora, 72% asked about Dawkins, 83% distracted the guard. 28% let Nora suffer in limbo. <laughs> okay. I maintain that, like, that was just weirdly written. Didn't really know what I was doing. And I previously, like, murdered people. And, like, was like, what? Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. I just pressed the button. So now I'm like, I don't press it if it's red. I'm like, there's got to be something else. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, we just let her suffer in limbo. All right, cool, cool, cool. 28%. <laughs> We're simply suffering out here. 51% didn't ask about your father. What? Who is my father? Like, I definitely would have clicked that next, but I think it just, I ran out of choices, you know? 31% didn't explore the cells with Aiden. Aw, I guess I missed that. 98% took the medallion. What? What medallion? What did I just take? Did I take a medal and not realize it? Okay. Cheers, everybody. That was such a cozy chapter. Oh, the necklace. Do you call it a medallion? Okay. Is this baby us? Is this a flashback? Okay, we are just a cute little girl lab rat. I'm a cute little lab rat just like that. I'm a lab rat, cute little girl lab rat. That's forever. Everybody in this room, I'm gonna fucking kill you when I get older. <laughs> Fuck you and your coffee. Dad, just say tired. Tired. Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? That's my bedtime. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought you a book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I can't read myself. I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, that energy was like every time you went to Zoom call, you're like, okay, yeah, it's so good to see you. We'll talk to you next week. <laughs> That's what he just did. <laughs> Amazing. So, where did he leave that book? I just called all of you out. Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. For meetings with your boss. I know what you do when you end the Zoom call. Where is the book? I cannot find a boxy. A foxy boxy. Okay, I think we need Aiden to read. Why is this red? Ho 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 ho. a big tape deck.
man, I still can't believe all that we've discovered thanks to one little girl. Yeah, she's really something. Sometimes it seems like she's lived many lives already. We gotta take it easy on her, though, Nathan. I mean, she's just a kid. And these sessions with Aiden are really hard on her. All right. We've got enough data to keep us busy for months. We should give her some time off. Cool. What about our parents? Have you heard anything? No, but it's probably better that way. Which ones? You are planning the to tell her the truth about them, aren't you? I don't know. I really don't know. I... Last thing I want to do is hurt her. Which parents? Whatever it is I'm supposed to do. I already did that. It's a weird bonus thing, but okay. What book? There's eight million books in here. Oh, there. I didn't. What's up? Wild wine night. <laughs> it was wine night Wednesday. Woohoo! Ah, you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks I am dead pale. tired, is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. He just got cast in the Green Goblin. He's gonna have to leave. And they're gonna pay me how much? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. <gasps> Wrong we, side of the road. Did we just see the deaths? Let's get you off to bed. Let's Could we have prevented right it or right done back. anything? Come on, Jody. Or did we see it as it happened? Hmm. And do we just see dead people? Like, is that new? I think you just saw the wife and daughter's ghost. Yeah, like maybe immediately when they died, so we couldn't have done anything. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. 
We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Destroy all the iPhones. Got it. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Now, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infraworld world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Let me guess, Ryan? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Who the fuck is that? Clayton's team goes oh, with you, a small, agile commando unit, <laughs> just like, able to why avoid you just call detection. Me baby? <laughs> Mission begins in two okay, days. My name's Ryan. <laughs> Good luck. Do you, excuse me, what did you just call me? Get out of here. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the you're other side. You're gonna find side. me a better team? Come on, we're gonna lose. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Because you lost your family. But you also used us as a science experiment. But it also was your job from the outset, so it's complicated. Mm hmm Okay, Green Goblin. It's good to see you. Who? <laughs> ah! Uh, aggressive. <laughs> Uh, looks like Aiden remembers me. <laughs> well, that's not what I was expecting. Keep your distance, Ryan. <laughs> Aiden is even less forgiving than I am. <laughs> Get him, girl. Yeah, girl. Girl power. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm used to getting what I want. <laughs> yeah, this for, it's for your fashion choices. Jean Vest, what is this, Canada 2004? What are you doing? Uh-oh, here we go. Did we already go to, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I got tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But Great. it could have been fast and painless. How did, how did this happen? Like, what? Instead, I think we missed a chapter. Instead, it would be a very, <laughs> what? very slow and agonizing death. <laughs> so, I ask time you skin. one last time. Who do you work for? Myself. <laughs> I'm self-employed. Where are you? <laughs> okay. Now it's very, very winter. It's completely deserted! Nice outfit. You Whoa. sure it's here? Kind of, it's like We're camo, right on top of the, the snow. The storm's getting worse! What do we do now? It's kind of a sick look. I like uh, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Find shelter. This looks like shelter. What kind of shelter you want? I got this house or that house. Got it! Let's go! We're skiing! Whee! Can I go fast? I don't know 
which house they've been. forgot about this chapter. I don't even know what is this chapter. Where are we and why? <laughs> this is a very, um, probably wouldn't choose this place for vacation. Alright, take your skis off. Let's go. I usually Fucking freezing! What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say. Then shut the fuck up. Guys, I'm freezing. Ryan, you think yeah. maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? Yeah, you dummies. She's right. I set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Okay, build fire. Uh, uh, I can't get over how like, sick our outfit is. It's just such a cool snowsuit. <laughs> Canadian things, but I'm just like, look at all, like the breathable mesh. Everything's wet. Did I just set a bomb? Wait, what? Try. What was Damn. that? All this stuff is soaking. Hello? We better find something. I don't want to make it through the night. <laughs> what? I'm what, gonna what, go what, out. What was I'm that? I for a pee. Oh. Tea. And tea. Oh my god, tea. Oh, hot tea. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm not helping with the fire. I'm just being selfish. What are you doing? Did you, you get a TikTok? connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? Yeah, you kidnapped me when I was 16. It probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. Thank you for saying that now. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. Okay. It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. Pretty quick walk around the door block. Spot. Oh my god, it's gonna turn into an ice sculpture. It's gonna be a pea sculpture. Just peed. No toilet. Um, I 
I, I wish we could have seen it. I would have liked to have known. Did it turn into ice instantly? Was it a hissicle? Or did it just kind of like sit in the snow? It was like dog. They're here. I saw them. Where? On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. They see you? No, not the convoy. No, so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! Let's talk about frozen Don't worry, we'll fight this fight and then I'll be. <laughs> okay, let's go, girls! Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Submarines. What Submarines. If, what's the submarine explode? That means the rift is. It's underwater. I think they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. One, two, Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Murder. Get rid of them. I am a weapon. I do whatever instructions tell me. <laughs> okay. You, the sound of standing on snow. You blessed soul, you must live in Australia. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oops, that was stupid. Tingsu! How come I can't move him? Uh oh, we're stuck. Never mind. Why'd you do that? We were still had uh, Give me some warning. You dumb dumb. So, what do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? Sub? That's dumb. 
I've piloted a sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure, let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Yeah, you dumbass. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Then you well, do something. Maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You take stay here, you find idea. us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. How old are these guys? Give me the explosives. I like how our eyeliner is still You do on. realize we might not make it back alive, right? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I've known that for the Wait, story. is he gonna ask me to kiss? <laughs> That's his fucking manipulation trick. You realize we may not survive, right? Which you like to do. <laughs> Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. Okay. What are we doing? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm driving a submarine. Uh oh. oh. Don't hit the rock. Visibility is bad. It's hard to get my bearings. I am. I am Aquaman. Oh god, oh god. I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Okay, now we're here again. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Okay, relax. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Just say nothing, you hear me? <laughs> My name is Holmes. Jody, no. Jody, I don't no. want him to die. I hate people that much. Agent they need to 8947. Die. Okay, I didn't mean to tell the truth either. I the CIA. <laughs> So the CIA is aware of our little experiments. 
And what about the entity that was trapped in our containment field? We gotta play smart. Uh, what, what's she gonna say? I don't have a choice. He's tied to me. Damn, we just pulled the whole, the whole truth. Fascinating. Nothing but the truth. The Americans have also discovered the existence of this phenomenon. I must inform my superiors. I will return soon to continue our conversation. I'm sorry, Ryan. The button was screaming at me. <laughs> like, you know. I wanted to talk and give him something else, but that wasn't an option. R.I.P. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? Wait, do we know what just happened so we can prevent it? Is that how this time frame no. is working? But I'll figure something out. You don't think they'll notice we're not that guy? <laughs> what? Girl, come on. Uh, girl. I'm scared, I'm scared, I don't want to be tortured. Please, no. Okay, possession this guy. Come on. What? But it. Shut up and follow me. Shut up, you dumb dumb. I like our relationship better if, if I'm the one who gets to say what we're doing. Christ, it worked. Now find the condenser before they realize something's up. Where's the condenser? Is it this way? No, the game's not letting me look. It's not this way. Hurry. We walk really slow. Sorry, bro. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just uh, chilling. It's probably this red door, right? I'm just working off my lunch. Had a had a big lunch, so uh, you know, don't mind me. Just taking a walk. These white people. The door over there. That must be the way. <laughs> like no one's noticing. <laughs> the condenser's close. I'm feeling echoes coming from the rift. This is too easy. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay, we're very. It's gonna reset. It's gonna reset him. Jody! Jody, what's happening? Is that like a barrier he can't hide and can't pass through?
Aiden, I need you. Yeah, what, what do you want me to do, though? I can't go where you go, so I'm supposed to explore, I think, and figure out what to do, right? Showers? Should I take a shower? Can I control anyone in the shower? What is this? Is that a shower? That's just to murder. Is there not a control option? I prefer control. Okay, this is like getting trippy. <laughs> I don't see any other options but to murder. It is. <gasps> Will this serve any purpose? Also, I'm an entity. I can't carry anything. Okay, I'm definitely lost. <laughs> Oops.
this door open? I don't understand. Where's the white button? Oh. I don't want to go in there. There's people there. Can I not use my ID pass and a gun and hold a gun at the same time? Like, look, it doesn't work. Let me look down. See how it keeps like going up. Go back to security. Okay. Um, back to security. I'm too low ranking. Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. You crazy? Look, Jody, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just gonna come pouring out if we don't close it. No, it's too late, Jody. We gotta go now. It's the only way. You know that. Go! Some urgency, please, Ryan. Explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. Where's 
in the interrogation room. Just kidding. Take care of that bastard item. Scared I know. Stay close, okay? light on this thing. Keep calm, Biden. This is like the coolest tech suit I've ever seen. Except I would never do this in real life. I would never go scuba diving. Like deep, deep scuba diving. I just can't do it. You know? I mean, it good for you if like you could do it. <laughs> I could I could never do it. I will never do that. I'm absolutely terrified of trusting a big tank of oxygen under the water. Nope. Not good. Uh. I will snorkel. That's about it. Snorkel on the surface. Oh, the risk is not too bad. It's fine. It's less than 
And then people always come back like, well, you go in a car, don't you? And there's always accidents on the road. And I'm like, yeah, but I go in a car, generally speaking, because I like have to get to I don't have to jump out of a plane. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, you got me, but not really. Oh my God, this is so much leg strength. to die here with me, bitch. <laughs> the greatest discovery the world has ever known. Okay, Destroyed because of you, stupid American bitch. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> yes, I'm late. All for nothing.
are you? Watch me just pull up in the sub and be like, I was waiting. Shut up. You didn't think <laughs> I'd let you down, huh? <laughs> I, I wrote this script, actually. The hole's breached. Oh, We're gonna we drown. Can't boost the sub. We're not far from the surface. We're gonna drown. Maybe we can make it to the top alive. We're gonna swim. Yeah. Sounds like a fucking good plan. swam to the top? I, I was joking. Like, he would be dead. If this was real life. Just in case you were curious about how realistic this is. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Fuck. Fuck, I hate the cold. Still angry with me? We're saying this, he, and he doesn't have any... He doesn't have any clothes. Yeah, of course. Yes! Now is not the time to discuss. Can we just focus on saving our lives? Holy shit. He's so annoying. Look, I'm sorry to behave like an absolute idiot. Good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I never had time to tell you this, but um, I love you, Jody. <laughs> what? <sighs> um. <clears throat> you diamond shit. <laughs> also true. But. I wanted you to know, just in case we die here. Right. So how about you? Huh? We're not gonna die. Just do something. Do you love me too? Ah! No! This is <laughs> such a weird moment. Like, what are you doing? It's a moment, but... No, I don't. <laughs> Why would we just say that now? Cause you're cold? Cause he's cold! Say it cause he's cold! <laughs> hey, I didn't want to kill him, like some chat did. Like kill him, let him die. No, no, I saved his life. I feel like that's, that's good. You know, like that, that's enough. <laughs> there, it's them! Uh oh. Oh no, those are our friends. Thank God. Phew. You know, never tell someone you love them just because they said, what about you? <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> you know, especially if they kidnapped you and you have your reasons. It's valid. But uh, we, we saved his life. We still want to make sure that he has a good, happy, healthy life. You know, we're, we're not careless here. I do have to pee. So on that note, um, you can read my statistics and I will run a quick ad for Susie and pee out the tea into an icicle. I don't think there's sound anyways, but.
sorry, it's so quiet. Uh, I need a minute to digest what the fuck has happened. Trisha, dude being sorry now doesn't undo what he did. Like, yeah, she might forgive him because he she's being better. But sometimes shit like this just kills the romantic attraction. Yeah, but also, like, you don't have to, like, love every person you come into contact with in a trauma capacity. <laughs> like this game wants you to do. <laughs> like, honestly... This game just didn't really establish why we care for him that much. Like, I don't know why. Because he recruited us and he was the only other opposite gender person who looked kind of cute. Because he saved us. But, like, we all saved each other when you're in, like, the military, you know, like, that's kind of, like, your role. Like, I'm kind of, and oh, because we had dinner one time and it was awkward and we were freaking out over, like, what to wear. Like, it didn't really establish a connection in a meaningful way. And your argument might be, well, okay, simply, you, you said, let's get pizza and let's wear lazy clothes. So that's why he didn't, like, do anything else <laughs> or whatever. It, that doesn't change. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't change anything. There still wasn't much context as to like why why do we love him? What happened to establish that connection other than the, yeah, like the white knight trope basically. And that's not enough, <laughs> I think. That and like a bit of Stockholm syndrome, like that he was our kidnapper essentially when we were young and we thought he was important and smart and whatever, our leader, and so we just listened to him. This relationship is a super immature reaction. It is, but I feel like it's understandable when you are young and in those circumstances. I wouldn't blame a 16-year-old for reacting that way in those circumstances, but we're like late 20s now, right? I think, given the timeline. So we're allowed to, to still maintain that we've or to change our minds and be like you know what no all of this is weird <laughs> you know we've barely explored our options what else is out there i'd like to know what other weird fish are in the ocean all right 56 percent talked during the interrogation oh interesting almost half just didn't press talk 90% infiltrated the base possession. Ryan is 13 years older than Jody. Yeah, and that's huge when you're 16. It may not be much if you're like 35 and 40, whatever, but you know, <laughs> it's it's all it all depends. 42% didn't forgive Ryan. Okay, I'm not that much of a minority. Like, okay, this is good. This makes me feel better. <laughs> it's, it's not 2%, it's 42%. 64% infiltrated the base. 54% managed to escape the base. Oh my god, half didn't escape. That's crazy. 31% told Ryan <laughs> you didn't love him. Okay, weird because... That means 42% didn't forgive him. But 69% loved him hmm. and that's what we call girl math <laughs> hmm. Hmm. good night princess is nathan okay when will i see him again oh i don't know honey he hasn't left his office in three days he loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? May you get some sleep.
I like our pajamas. They're really cute. Oh, look, we're restless. Do we have food poisoning? to follow you. This is a fun game. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Yeah, that's either his daughter or his wife. I'm just not sure. Tony. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. I don't wanna. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again! I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. Yeah, it's weird to like not tell them what you're about to do, but also we're like six. So like I give her a pass, but I do not give us a pass when we were like in the homeless episode. We just went up to people and did that. <laughs> when we were like 22. <sighs> and then he became the Green Goblin. Mm hmm. True story. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the Infoworld. This situation 
opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. What? Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We race have discovered we space a new yet? world. A world for us to conquer. This You're saying we is didn't the beginning go to the moon yet? <laughs> of a new era for our nation. Send Iden to the moon. Department of Paranormal Activities National Defense Laboratory. Ugh, there's Ryan again. He's gonna tell he's gonna tell us he loves us again. And be like, eh, your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh cool sculpture. I like it. Pentagon top brass getting you down. McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. We played our part in all of this. Manipulate it. He told us we were doing the right thing. Just like you did. But all we did was allow the Pentagon alone to control the infra world. Mm, we got duped. Shocking. So what are you gonna do now? Uh, normal life. Leave. <laughs> yeah, Go right. somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <sighs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car golf meetings so I haven't given him an answer yet but it's worth considering listen <laughs> Jody I, I know it's been complicated between us and I, I didn't always do the right thing Do you like to apologize for the third time but maybe we could start again you know oh. try and build something together oh this After is so cringe all the stuff we've been through maybe we could make it work why? I'm, I'm not ready. I gotta politely tell him to like, relax. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. Sir, this is harassment. <laughs> I understand. But I gotta be polite so he doesn't like, well, whatever you do, lash out. Just remember, I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Do so Nathan's at a distance, thank you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I... Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. He's gonna ask me again at the bar. Watch. <laughs> How many times do I need to say no? <laughs> the game was not coded for that option. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? No. Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Before. 
<laughs> Simply sassy today. Hello. All right, here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Oh. Is Lab Daddy a lab liar? Maybe he turns into the Green Goblin at the end. It's okay, I never trusted literally anyone in. in this game, so I'm good. I don't trust Cole either. He did give us up when we went to see our mother. Jody. Who we didn't kill. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. This safe. is his office? Oh, I am jealous. Okay, I hate him now. <laughs> I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned. You no longer exist. Passport to Canada? That's not a Canadian passport. I would look at Canadian passport. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. North? Detroit become human? But now you can track me because you know my name. Money? <laughs> Five hundred thousand dollars. That's it. After all the years of work I did. <laughs> for services rendered. That's it, bro. That should help make a new start. I, I expect five hundred million. Thank you. Uh, I refuse. I'm I would, starting. I would like life. more. <laughs> we gotta negotiate. I don't want anything Always that negotiate. reminds me of the old one. Don't take a passport where they like know our name. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. Would you take a million dollars? Still no. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Okay, you're gonna make us feel bad for you. Hanging in my head against the wall trying to figure out you why. You gave me why, hope. So you should why take them, my money. Never being able to hold them One again. One trillion dollars, final offer. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. Sorry. Ben, no! But then you came along. Ew. <laughs> and I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infra world. So I recreated my family. Military applications. I was I'm interested selfish. in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years. But I finally succeeded in creating this. Is that just like a hologram or... Hello, my darlings. Are they actually there in their entity and hate this? They don't look very happy. Laura, I miss you so much. them every day soon we'll be together okay crazy I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infra world speaking with the dead Jody can you imagine yes actually. what do you want from me I want you to help me talk to them I want to hear their voices I want to tell them what I'm doing 
Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Bruh. Nathan. Nathan, they're dead. They're in the infrawall now. You cannot make them come back. I'm sorry. I, I can't help He's you. He's gonna go crazy. He's been doing this for like 10 years. I haven't heard their voices 15 for 15 years. Since that day, I heard them through a little girl. You. That's why he's so nice to us. I'm begging you. Jody, do this for me. I mean, if we do it once. Then... Give me your hands. Okay, I guess we're just doing it. I didn't even choose to do it. Okay. <laughs> Say like, let me the fuck out. Like, what the fuck is this mad scientist bullshit? Nathan, <laughs> you're hurting us. You gotta let us go. Let us die. You, you're lying. Helen didn't say that. You did. Literally, look at their faces, bro. They're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two walls. That's, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. Why don't you join? I hope you find peace. <laughs> I'll do that later. Hi, Jody. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. What did I do now? We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Ah! Exactly Sir. what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, 
collaboration. Okay, because I saved Ryan, he's gonna save me, right? Oh my god. Or is he not gonna Goodbye, save me because I didn't say I loved him? Oh my god, this is so stupid. We will always be grateful for your help. The lesson is tell the boys you love them in case they'll save you, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like predicting the next steps, which probably aren't it, but <laughs> No! I guess we're gonna die! Maybe Aiden? Jody. You opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. This man is crazy. Who let this man in? I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. So do you want to help us or not? What are you? What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. I don't think that's how that it's works. It's not just souls on the other side. Uh-oh. It's just death. Green body. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything is going to turn out fine. <laughs> We're literally going to die. All this just to die? Okay, come on, Aiden. What can I do when they come for you? Aiden, Aiden. Do give me something to do. Ceiling. No. Nope. Door. No. Get help. I'm literally trying, girl. Hurry. Where's the rest of your team? Ben's and Nick? <laughs> they have three months oh, leave. Right. On a beach on some exotic Nicole. island, no doubt. How do we tell them? Lucky Help me! bastards. Why is there nothing to Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. them there's no option to possess so that should mean there's an option to disrupt something in the room to get their attention but I don't see any blue dots and I need a blue dot go back or did I have to wait for them to finish talking that's annoying I did have to wait for my them mind to wait. it's beginning to go now Entities in this lab? Good God, no. Why They're all no trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? Yes. This is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Now where? Are 
they following me? Do they know? Hello? Can you see me? This way. Over there. Us to take the elevator? Is that it? Come on, boys. Save me for once. Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. Why didn't I didn't just take control? Wow, they just gave up so easily. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank, Thank you. you, Bouncer. Thank you. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Don't say that out loud. Ryan. Right. Now where? Something moved. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Here we go again. Oh no. Oh no. The containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it. Uh -oh. You need uh -oh. help? No. No, I'm okay. Now, Aiden. Don't stay here! Come we on! Gotta, we gotta evacuate the place! Now! This 
way! Hurry up! You gotta get out! Go. Ah. This way! Hurry! I Get out of here! They're coming! This way! We gotta go! We gotta get back to the boys! Get out! Oh. This way! Hurry! Right. It might still be a chance to reactivate the field. It is not already too late. Get out of here! I... Jesus! They're out! They're all out! Field. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now! Shut up. I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infoworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Oh, get out of my way. Clayton! Roasted. Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! Shut up. He's not even <sighs> you. He loves me. Consider that my resignation. <laughs> You're all gonna die here. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. This is like Armageddon. Oh my it's god. It's a long shot. It's Armageddon. But it's the best I got. Who's when you're Bruce talking Willis? crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here. Let the military clean up their own fucking mess. Containment field shut down. Jody, no. Pulse It's our only chance. Here we go. One more time. Everybody's feeling fine. Right? Here we go. Now, just us, just here we go. I always figured I'd Jody die here. Ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find out. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. Or I didn't will do it. Sensor zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Oh my god, I'm gonna we lose. Seen us yet. Like in my oh, dream. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> no, shut I hope up. you're right. Or a little trip into the infra world might come to a sticky end. Fuck off. Aiden, don't attract attention, or we're dead.
So dumb. It let me think I could heal him and then it didn't. Boo. Alright, here we go. Just the two books. Said that on the ranch and let the guy survive, right? Yeah, they're like, that's all eating can do. The black sun. Let's finish this. They don't recognize you anymore. Your anger has changed you. He's gonna shoot us. I miss Relax. them. I miss them so ah! much. Reason, reason. Let me pass, Nathan. That's not good reason. The condenser must be destroyed. You know it's the only way. No, he doesn't like that.
missed you. I missed you so much. But isn't his soul family mad at him for keeping them in his science project limbo? You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. looking for. Come on. I think our character would be like more disturbed by that. Because like she really liked this guy in terms of like father figure, right? Until that recent belt and destroy the fucking condenser. Inject you with a neural acid that will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. Baby, now. Give me back my child. Huh? 
Calm down, Going Nora. back to being born. I want to see her. My little girl. My little boy. For God's sake, what's going on? The twin. He strangled her. Uh, we couldn't do anything. Son. Let me guess. Hiding I is want to see our... my son. Aiden. My twin. My twin. My brother. Soul. Aiden. Stillborn. That's why they marked Stillborn. But there was two babies. There was two babies. Did we eat him in the womb? Casey. Do not eat the baby. That's weird. Hello? We couldn't leave each other. Is this Aiden? A grown man who's naked? Stop! That's our, our brother. Souls were bound together. <laughs> I loved you. <laughs> and hated you for years. Wait, so we're meeting our twin. And he's full frontal dude. We're Ben, we stop! We will not kiss our twin dead brother! <sighs> don't kiss your brother, don't kiss your cousin. It's never safe out there. Why is it dark? I think he probably like sacrificed himself to kill the portal so humanity could live or whatever. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. So many things I still have to do. You're crazy. <laughs> okay, I understand this makes way more sense if you like went along with it, but just assume you picked the options of like, you know, well, let's just hang out for now. And he's like, I love you, Joe. <laughs> it's really funny. Other side. Granny. Another world. The wind, the stars, the universe. <laughs> he does have no riz, right? Me That's what I it is. Like, he's just not interesting. Forever. What is the connection and why? Wait, what? I have to choose? Okay, this is the end, right? Is it. Press X to die? <laughs> Woo! Okay, what do you want? Do you want to die or do you want to live? Um. Well, how come the glimpse of life was like just Ryan sitting there kind of pathetically and being like, I love you. <laughs> what is, the, you're telling me that's my life? That's it? I do not believe. And beyond was grandma in the sky like this isn't enough information to make this choice so i'm gonna have to impute information from the rest of the game this is simply logic okay you came here for this and no other gameplay <clears throat> i'm not doing a poll i do not want your opinion <laughs> i'm going to ignore that there's just a sad lonely ryan on the ground and consider the context of the game of what it has shown me is beyond versus like whatever I think real life is in this game, which has some people we cared for, people we did develop some form of friendships with, like like the homeless chapter or the the, the ranch chapter, and beyond kind of just doesn't really 
exist, right? It's like a dream world where you can never really do much of anything. It's like, right? Like, I, I don't like what Beyond has shown me in this game. And I think it's deliberately now saying blue sky <laughs> versus dark to lead you into beyond. And I think that's kind of tricky me. Choose life so you can reject Ryan. <laughs> I am not a dreamer. I am a realist. And I would generally... I would just pick life, but I feel like it was misrepresented with just like Ryan sitting there like please tell me that's not my whole life, right? Like come on. I've said no 800 times. There's other things to life other than your trauma bonding guy who's delusional who thinks that he's your boyfriend. He recruited you when you were 13 years older than you when you were 16 and kidnapped you, right? There's more to life. Also, we can choose life and then maybe later go to beyond when we eventually die. Where nobody wants to work anymore in life. <laughs> Everybody just wants to be in the beyond. Yeah, if I had chosen beyond, did I just fuck everything? killed him like by accident or in that other scene with the torture scene we're alive what would my life be if not for this man it's crazy to think about what about Cole I did so We made it. Jody, we made it. Aiden? We lost our twin soul, I'm guessing. <laughs> but why? Was Aiden just taken out? Don't tell me you love me right now. <laughs> like, please, it's not about you. I swear to God. Or did Aiden just go to the beyond? He was like, fuck this shit. You choose life. I'm going this way, girl. You're too annoying. Okay. Black Sun. So was that the last chapter? 63% refused or postponed Ryan's declaration. Good job, majority. Wow. I'm actually impressed. 78% healed Cole. 89% Ryan survived. So he could have died. So what would my life be like if not for this man? <laughs> 82% chose life? Wow. I'm actually shocked at that one. I feel like the beyond was more enticing just aesthetically. You know, the aesthetics were were better vibes. 29% refused the CIA money. <laughs> Wait, what? So like... You're telling me 71% of people accepted the money and then wouldn't that have unlocked like a totally different path? I feel like that should have been a big deal, but maybe it was just one thing. 
Uh, $500,000 is not enough for our 27 years of service or whatever. Excuse me. Um, know your worth. <laughs> 75% convinced Dawkins to take his own life. I didn't know that's what I was really doing, but okay. 96% shut down the black sun. That's sad for the 4%. Okay, we're on vacation. Ever since the black sun was destroyed... How do we have our bunny? I thought I left my it. My memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind. Erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused. Slowly self-destructing. Fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Same girl. So I'm Everything's like, what day is playing it again? inside Wednesday? my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. We're trying to put now. my life down on paper. We're gonna get that book money. It's more than 500K, I'll tell you that. If I forget everything. Mm -hmm. These pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. We did choose life. My life without Ida. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. Never been so unhappy in my life. No pants. Put your pants on. I feel like I see you at home. Part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. How'd we get our bunny? Shit. That's stupid. I miss him so much. Okay, we saved Cole. He lives in suburbia. I see he's doing well. Love his shirt. Coral looks great on him. No return address. Must be from a Brit. <gasps> a princess. Mac, pay attention. This is like the end of a movie. <laughs> the detectives months, are as unhinged as my logic. Months is nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. You said that already? What? Zoe? Fuck is Zoe? Is that the the homeless baby? Wait a second. I'm sorry. <clears throat> is this the final decision in the game? 
they're asking me how I'm gonna spend the rest of my life alone. Okay, valid option. Zoe, that baby that, that we birthed, what do we think we have a right to like be her parent now? <laughs> because we birthed her randomly? That's fucking crazy. What? Like, if I'm Tuesday, the mom, I'd be like, excuse me, just because you helped birth her doesn't mean that you're, like, involved in her life. That's very presumptuous. Okay. Jay? Like, whatever. He was fine. But also way less storyline than Ryan. Like, right? If you're comparing between Ryan and Jay. Like, I don't really know Jay. What? Jason! Or Ryan. Okay, so... I'm assuming most people pick Ryan and then 2% pick alone, right? Why should I pick Jason? I barely know him. Or Zoe. <laughs> you, you guys have no sense. Like, hello, were you here? For the last three episodes, pick Zoe. I want horse girl life. There's not a picture of a horse. There's a picture of Jay's face. These options suck. Yeah, and honestly, when you're 27, how old are we? We're only 27. Like, choosing your life path forever now seems very not wise you know what i mean like you totally have more time i would like to announce to all the 27 year olds in the chat you do not have to make a final decision you can go with what you're feeling in that moment in your 27 year old life and context and then you can do something later when you're 28 okay all right but you know what i'm gonna do it's so obvious <laughs> deep inside i i always knew needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. <laughs> I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. <laughs> For the seventh time. We've been through too many difficult times together. Still don't know if he heard me. Times I want to forget. He said he understood. But he did That didn't. he'd wait as long as it takes. He literally didn't. I know I felt something for him. But it was trauma-based. It just wasn't strong enough. And I was a child. And now I'm seeing a therapist who's helped me a lot. How could I life again after all I've been through? <laughs> Hell, who wants to live a normal life anyway? What is normal? Boyfriend, job, counting the days till my next vacation. I wanted it for so long, but I finally realized that that life wasn't for me. So wait, what are we doing? So I took to the road. I've seen many rifts to the other side. Hundreds of them all over the country. Homes where strange things happen. Hotel rooms that no one ever wants to see different. again. Entities are all around us. They live in our houses. This is what I did with my life! Oh! They're with us every second of every day. I know they're lurking in the shadows. So, so we're, we're just homeless? That's what happens if you don't choose the man. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're gonna be homeless. Oh my god. There's no income without men, actually. No man with a ranch. No man with a CIA paycheck. Mm -mm. We cannot support ourselves. Still here. Hide. You don't know how much I've missed you. So we're not alone. I see.
see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. It's the music from Stranger Things. Fuck off. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Horses crew, look, there's a horses crew. <laughs> Thank you, silly munchkins. Okay, it's almost over. Just, I want to see if there's like a cutscene. There's the score. Everything I got copyrighted for. Yeah, because these, like, this game was made 13 years ago or 10 years ago or whatever, it was before you had an option to pick a streamer mode with non copyright music. So every stream I play of this gets copyrighted. Tell me whether there's something after the credits or not, because I, I will quit if there isn't, but I just wanted, just in case there was, I wanted to see it, you know? Like, I'm pressing A and nothing happens, so... It, you either have to actually wait, or there's nothing. Mm. 
No. But I want our stats, right? I want to see who chose what. So where's the option for our statistics? I'm pressing all the buttons. Nothing's happening. Okay, so we, we just have to wait for the stats. Got it. a video game, huh? Where's Menchi? Where's Lampchi? The men in this game sucked, huh? Honestly, I haven't played many games where the men were really good. Why is that? <laughs> Unless they were machines. Interesting enough. Okay, okay, okay. Statistics, 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 statistics. Is that Lampchi? <gasps> For Maria and Mercedes from the Infraworld, I know you are watching me. Okay, okay, choices. Lampchi! Mercedes! <laughs> you okay, baby? Is she purring? She's okay. She's hungry. How's I'm, she gonna eat? I'm gonna take the lamp off to feed her. Okay. I'll take the lamp off. Oop. <laughs> Careful now. Okay, guide her. <laughs> lamp cheese. Okay. 12% uh, chose to stay alone. <laughs> 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 what do you mean I'm the worst? <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, you know what? This why this is good? This is why you watch me. Okay, anyone else you've seen this, even your own gameplay, you are the least likely to have chosen this path. So aren't you glad that I chose it so you could see what it looked like? You're welcome. Also, yeah, there's five endings. I thought there was four choices. Oh, the fifth ending is going to the beyond. And do you not get a choice when you go to the beyond? Beyond? I guess so, right? Like you go to the beyond and then that's it. Then you don't get to be with anyone. You just get to be with the souls. Got it. I would have liked to see what proportion chose everything else, right? I feel like Ryan's probably the highest, would be my guess, just because uh, the game gave you way more time with him, so there's that. <laughs> like what? And like tried to make you kiss him 18 times. Whereas the other people was just one chapter each. Wow, I can't believe we did it. Amazing. GG's, everybody. We did it. Okay, I'm gonna check some shit up. Yes. Mm. We did that. Thank you. Thank you very much for um, staying with me, for winning the game with me. We that's That's winning, right? Yes, it is. I'm gonna look up other endings, if you care. Okay, and end this poll. Did Christine remain a machine? Um, that's not the game, although I really liked Trivia. Okay, um... 
There's 24 endings? That's too long. We're not watching all of those. Endings, if you choose life, maybe? There's 10 endings. No. ending. Our souls were bound together. Well, we already saw this. I loved you. So then she crosses over. Ryan going back on his own because we went beyond. <laughs> Why is he wearing an eye patch? Maybe this playthrough, like he lost his eye. Jody. Jody. Jody, come here. Wake up. Jody, wake. Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. This is the beyond option because it's showing you what you left behind, which is only Ryan. That's it. That's all you left behind. That's it. You have no one else in your life. Nothing else matters but the man. Um, and then you go to the I beyond. I can dissolve into nothing or become whole again. I can merge my soul with others or, or be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible. Merely by the force of my will. That, that sounds kind of boring. I don't know, you know? I can merge into air and molecules and do whatever with my mind. I continue to look through to your world. And just look at all the humans. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there. And to, that to I'm look okay. around. To hold them in my arms one more time. Tell them how much I miss them. But I have to settle for being close by. Invisible. So we're spying on people, and they probably get disturbed. No more than think a thing. That their house is haunted. Should we take his eye patch? I'm glad I didn't get this ending. I don't like it. It's too, like, kind of creepy. You basically become what Aiden was to you. But they don't understand it in the way that you understood it because you were born with Aiden and Aiden was unique to you. But this is just you creeping on up on anyone you want and writing things like Little Princess, and now you just totally fucked up their day because they think they're being haunted by you. <laughs> Whether that's a good thing or not, you know? It's just like, oh my god. That would drive me insane if someone was doing that to me. Creep creeping. I know what has been and what is yet to be. I know all the possibilities. 
I can see the darkness coming. I must stay a while longer. There is still a part to play. Like she sounds hot. Before I can Sad. move to discover what lies. Mad. Beyond. Right, she sounds really like flat and boring. Formerly homeless crew. Yes, they all still live together. Sometimes I could spend hours staring into space, watching the images as they go by. I play it over and over again, like a TV that's never turned off. Is that the child? I don't know why I'm seeing all this, but there's one thing I do know. It all really happened. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. She talks to me. Is that the me. baby that we birthed? She says there are things I, I mean, need helped to know. birth? Sometimes I shut my eyes and it's as if I could fly. I can go through walls. I see beautiful colors around people. Did so we have a far twin away soul too? Without ever leaving my room. Uh oh. So the voice told me not to tell anyone. Was there two babies? I'm really scared. I don't remember. Especially at night when I'm alone with the shadows. There are things moving in the darkness. Strange noises. Whispers in the dark. The voice says we are her other soul. That it'll all go away. Yeah, but, but she, she won't was tell born, me what like, these things are. A long time before we went into the beyond, so it doesn't really light but up. I'm too scared to ask. Unless we just started haunting her. I when often she have the same randomly. dream. Everything seems so real. The sounds, the smells, the light. Deep down, I know it's not just a dream. It's like an echo. An echo of things to come. I must get ready. I know there's not much time. There's only one thing I can be sure of. That was us! <laughs> I will never be alone again. Okay, that one's kind of a reach. I don't know. I don't really, I don't buy that one. Life ending choosing Ryan. Okay. <laughs> okay, we already chose life, so we don't need to see that. But let's just fast forward to choice oh my god we're on a boat on a beach we're millionaires basically because we chose the man <laughs> the white man he's rich to hear what i was feeling okay this is if you choose ryan <laughs> it took me a while to realize how much i love ryan I've been alone and sad and for just, so long. And just, sorry to in interrupt. I know you, you really want to see. But just like, remember what our life was when we picked alone. It was like squalor, right? Like, no nice house, no possessions. We're basically just wandering around seeing dead people. And like, you know, we have no life except wandering around seeing dead people. But if you choose the man... I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. Is that a Tesla? <laughs> it's iPad train. Still got that vest. Silly munchkins. Stop. She said, poke out his other eye. I can't. You're making me cry. <laughs> okay, we don't want to cause him harm. We, you just shouldn't feel pressure to be like, whatever, we because the man said we could. to do it. <laughs> oh my god, we're sailing I now. To love again. Wow, this, that's a nice looking. Sailboat. Put my trust in Is that a yacht? To stop Damn. Fighting and running away. 
<laughs> In short, I'm a millionaire now. I had to learn to live. I get allowance, two thousand dollars a week. Ryan and I never talked about it again. On his uh, his salary, it's really nice. As if it all never happened. We go on vacation every other month. As if the other side didn't exist. You know, it's as if uh, if he didn't exist, I wouldn't exist. I would have no as life, no skills, no income, lives. nothing without this man. Thank you, man. Actually, he bought me this whole island. Mm-hmm. If you believe it. You know that CIA check I turned down? They gave it to him times 10. And then we went on a show. It's called, um... Not Private Island, uh, Temptation Island, to see if he would get swayed by other naked ladies. <laughs> That's what we're filming right now. We decided to go the reality television route. Ryan said he wanted to be an influencer, and I was like, okay, whatever you say. <laughs> it is 2013 after all. If you think about it, Jody actually has no work experience. Um, I disagree. Okay, I mean, we have work. We just don't really have, like, proof of payment. <laughs> so there's a difference. I still think we can put together a good resume with some skills. There's, there's tons of skills that we learned that are absolutely transferable. For sure. Okay, don't let this, this beautiful island escape life cloud your judgment and you think that, oh, we have no skills at all. Uh, that's not true. Okay, you got skills, girl. <laughs> and it's not just being in a bikini. <laughs> yeah, where's Aiden? Whack your boy with a coconut. Let's go. Aiden, Aiden's our island boy, actually. Ben, what are you doing? What is this? What movie is this ending? Saving? Pirate Ryan. <laughs> ben, shut up! Who let Ben have this much power? It was Lamp G. Oh. Okay. That's crazy. I thought life with Ryan would be like white picket fence, maybe have a baby that has, has three souls or something. Like, that's what I expected. I but no, tonight. we we are millionaires. <laughs> like, on a fucking giant beach. What? Why? Terrifying things. myself it's only nightmares okay but then this always happens we always become independent women true and then consider that okay so this is picking Jay he said he understood rejecting Ryan that he'd wait as long as it takes for a, another man that we barely knew I, know I felt something for him it just wasn't strong enough all right horse girls let's go running to me <laughs> like I thought I'd be like hey oh yeah it's you thanks for saving my grandma <laughs> is the brother jealous or confused he's just confused like the rest of us right we're naked don't look <laughs> Jacob put your pants on sir there's so much <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god, he's just totally naked. Yeah, YouTube, it's a video game. Great. 
Great, can't wait for the next storm. Also sleep in uh, black broad underwear on top of the covers like that. <laughs> what? What? Bro, I see things at night. Okay. Uh, next, I want to see what the life with this baby is like. Terrifying. What? Okay, ending alone. We know how that went. It was squalor. Let's pick Zoe. Terrifying things. Which is so out of left field, right? Like. They took like, me I didn't even remember I her alone. name. <laughs> when all I could think of was dying. They shared the little they had without knowing me or judging me. Deep down, I knew that my place was there. With them. We should have bought them a nicer house Stand with Brian's island money. Jimmy's gone back to school. He's clean now. Tuesday works behind a bar and Walter looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but they manage. I never told them about my past, and they never asked. They love me for who I am. Just some yeah. weird. They're not chick homeless who anymore. Talks to <laughs> and Zoe, Zoe has special powers. Me like we'd always known each other something about her big sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was. I knew she was different from the moment I saw her. We haven't talked about it, but we both know we have something in common. Maybe she was different because she was the only baby that we helped birth and that was an experience, you know? <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> Terrifying thing. Okay, so that ending doesn't really explain anything about us tethering to the baby when she was a baby, but in the previous wherever we saw that clip, it was talking about it when the child was grown up. And that's why you see the two of them together here in the Zoe ending. Okay, got it. All characters died? Oh my god, I need to know. This could have been me, guys. Another side. Another world. Coming the wind, the stars, the universe. <laughs> Literally everyone who died. Knows I've loved forever. This could have been me. But it wasn't. Okay, we pressed A most of the time. dead and we're gone to the beyond and then we leave another the one here behind. did i keep everyone alive <gasps> oh my god wow bonus points for me that's a first there's a world out here whole universe of forests and lakes and mountains and rivers it's all around us you just have to listen carefully to hear its whisper neither heaven nor hell 
it does make more sense a hippie to go to the beyond if you killed everyone whether by accident or intentionally you know because like what do you have left in the story would be more sad but choosing alone even though <laughs> everyone lived and could still be in my life choosing alone meant i never get to see them ever again oh yeah you can only choose one life partner or no one else exists there's no god or devil just a place where we continue to exist after we die my soul explores it shouldn't she have said and... there's no heaven or hell because those are perceived locations i don't know <laughs> i've still only seen a fragment of it i can be everywhere and nowhere i can dissolve into nothing or become whole again I can merge my soul with others or, or be more okay, alone than any human heard that. I've ever been. So All let's this just fast possible. forward to this. What's this? So this shows you the other characters, but you didn't join them. But you get to see their lives. But they died. So how can you see them in life? I'm confused. Oh, they didn't okay. die. Just the characters who were eligible to die died. Space. Got it. I guess we Watching couldn't the kill images them, really? They go Stan by. couldn't have died? They play yeah. over and over again. Like a TV that's never turned off. Okay, where do you know about the child? Sounds. Smells. I was destroyed. My memory has been disintegrating. I spent Life too much time Zoe? on the other side. All characters For died. as long as I can remember. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Aiden is not yeah. the only one I miss. Now that Ryan's gone, I realize how much I loved him. I'll kiss his gravestone. I understand how Nathan must have felt. Nothing is worse than knowing you'll never hold someone in your arms again. <laughs> That's the worst one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Cole died too. Ay ay ay. It took months. Months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I always knew. It was? I just needed the silence around me. That was not obvious. To hear what I was feeling. Okay, so we already saw just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> so that's kind of Zoe the same. To me. Okay, that's the same. Have to prepare and then we fight together. I know I and then, Terrifying. okay, so everything else is the same after this. Hell, who wants to live a <laughs> That's life? the one I got. <laughs> well, not this, but like that scene. <laughs> I got the most like squalor pathetic ending even though I thought it was kind of altruistic but self-fulfilling prophecy at the same time I don't know whatever but um there it is there you go ggs everybody <laughs> clapping for myself thank you And with that, I will give a stream schedule update in case you missed it earlier. No stream this Saturday. I'm doing family related things. And uh, I will pick a new game for Wednesday, but I don't know what it is and I don't have time to pick it now. So I will pick it before Wednesday. You have my word. And um, I would just like to point out again that um, I didn't kill everyone by accident. Or like, I, I killed a lot of people, but they were supposed to be killed. You know what I mean? Okay, so I think I, I think I played a good game. <laughs>
And uh, hey, you got to see an ending that no one else chooses. So I will see you for stream next Wednesday. But also, the Menchie Gang bonus stream will be the 31st. I know that's in like two weeks, but 31st Sunday, New Year's Eve special. And I will have your, uh, I gotta film your special spill. Super chats? Okay, relax, Mac. Please, will you show us your left hand and tell us when it'll be released? Pretty please. Is it iced cookies? I thought you were gonna write iced cappuccino and I was like, Tim Hortons? Um, uh, Hollow Swatchers and Hollow Royalty got a good hint today. Detectives will observe what they, what they, you know, the, the detectives will do detectiving. And uh, I'm interested to see what you think. Will you put it in the wrong file in the detective's desk? We'll find out. <laughs> All right, everyone, big thank you to the mods. Thank you to the Menchie Gang and everyone who stuck out this four, these four episodes of Beyond Two Souls. Um, I think I ended up deleting my soul. I think that's, that's the real ending. I just was like, get rid of it. <laughs> I'm good with that one. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful full week. I won't see you this weekend, but I will see you back on Wednesday. So um, thanks so much for watching. See y'all later. Have a great one. Bye.